Hey y'all, it's Trinity Bake the Record Channel Read. Messages are for the collective. Alright, um, I just pulled a card and I said, let me cut the camera on. Alright, so we I pulled the two of swords in reverse. Alright. So two of swords in reverse, it speaks about basically somebody coming out of confusion. Like, okay, some of you guys may only have surface level information about a certain situation, but with the two of swords in reverse, somebody's coming out of confusion here. It could happen to be over money, some sort of financial dispute or something like that here, some debt, family conflicts, it's something like that, all right? I feel like this is so much information here that it could have blew somebody's crown chakra. All right, we got the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, whatever this information it has came out though, this could certainly be somebody here like who worked for a very long time to try to give you some sort of bad reputation or something like that here. I'm also getting it's like somebody's like giving up on a situation that like they they lack the skill for it, y'all. All right, whoever this person is, whatever work they were doing, this could be to cause confusion. Um, somebody's going to be having a setback or misfortune due to something here. I don't know. could have been to a confused two to eight people. Very low skill, though. All right. What's the um, eight of pentacles here? This could even be somebody trying to do spell work and not knowing what they're doing. Yeah, we got the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This has something to do with a broken promise. Somebody could have been working effortlessly on something due to a promise. But I do feel like somebody's gaining clarity. All right. Yeah, this is about money. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody who could be financial dependent on somebody. Or this is what somebody could be trying to do. They want somebody to be financially dependent on them. So they could be trying to cause problems with this person's work. Or how people see this person or you. Ace of Wands in reverse. Somebody here has been guided in the wrong direction here, all right? It's like whatever somebody's working on or trying to do, they don't even have the passion, the energy, the drive, or the skill to do something. And now it's like whatever information has come to the surface Somebody could be having a creative block. Say if this was like one of your competitors, they can't even focus on what they're supposed to do because they spent a lot of time causing confusion for you. Could be with your work, something that you do for work. Like I said, this could be somebody here who's in the same field as you and they want to battle you, battle with the minds I'm hearing. Ace of Pentacles and then the star in reverse. Somebody's in despair about somebody's new beginning, career opportunities, their resources, their manifestations. So somebody tried to put a lot of time in it to stop in this or something like that. It's the Ace of Wands in reverse. Somebody's no longer passionate about something here that they've been working on. And it's certainly for money, blossom and abundance, abundance. Somebody's stressing themselves out here. This could be a mother here also who's pregnant. Somebody doing spell work while they're pregnant. It's not going to be a good outcome for that. Five of swords, the empress, and the four of swords, seven of swords. It's not going to be a good outcome. I hope a mother who's pregnant is not doing spell work. Or this mother could have been doing it while they were pregnant.
offer is being revoked. All right. We got the six of wands. The six of cups in reverse. Somebody's family, his. Somebody's trying to keep somebody stuck in the past here. All right. This is like somebody who's bored. Eight of Pentacles, somebody who does not work. All right. Somebody here is like doing some sort of spell work here on somebody else's success. This is somebody who's not even working or don't work or something like that. The Knight of Swords is to destroy something, but somebody sees that somebody's really ambitious. You guys are about to have like some team members coming in, some powerful um, collaborations coming in here. Some of y'all I'm hearing, um, some of y'all could be like something to do with apprenticeship, mentors or something like that. It's something here that you've mastered that you're about to be recognized for. It's like somebody came rushing in to confuse you. This King of Swords. But you still determined? What's the Ace of Pentacles in reverse? It's low skill, something that's no longer working or something like that. What is this? The Magician in reverse. Yeah, it's like somebody's trickery and deception is being stopped. All right? Some sort of illusion here that was working for a very long time is no longer working. Like I said, I feel like this was rushed. Group effort, poor, uh, poor planning here. And it's like somebody's like wasting their talents doing this. Three of Pentacles, nine of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody's going to be taking a hit, a lot of money. All right, for whatever this is here. The Six of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. This is somebody here who could be blowing and spending money. Like abuse of generosity, money that ain't even theirs. This could be a Taurus or a Virgo. Somebody's like handing out a lot of money. It's like somebody wants to be control of your money or something like that here. This person is going around giving out money that ain't theirs. This is like somebody who stole your money, a bunch of your money. This person's really in debt and they're handing out all of your money or something like that. If this has something to do with an inheritance or something like that, it ain't with the right person. This could definitely be somebody who has some sort of hatred towards you. Judgment in reverse. Somebody is guilty. Because of the hate that they feel for themselves or the fact that they don't want to face themselves, this is what causes this person to do this. Justice. The King of Pentacles. Look, y'all about to have a King of Pentacles. This person's coming towards you. This person looks at you as good news. Upright, very transparent here, fair, hold a lot of integrity. This person that you are going to be building with the Three of Cups, you guys are going to be celebrating and wishes are going to be granted. So for say this person here, this King of Pentacles did team up with these people, right? He's starting to realize the hate, the jealousy, and everything else that people have towards you. They put a lot of hate into you, but they don't use the same passion to build their lives up. And this is why, like, justice is here for you. Because I feel like while these people are back here behind the scenes trying to destroy you, manipulate you, they could be stealing your money, handing it out, paying other people here, or whatever. This could even be a lover, ex-lover who you're no longer having sex with. This person sees that you're still like working on yourself, pushing forward. And this is what this person admires about you. It's like, damn, all these people coming against this person, they end in this, um, this plan. How is all of these people coming against this one person to stop them from moving forward? It could be this emperor in reverse here who's very egotistical. This person likes to start conflict and battles. I feel like this person's fresh start is like gossip or something like that. Yeah, Page of Swords, the, the, the Five of Swords, the Page of Swords, the Emperor right there. 
This person here is watching you build your foundation, get stability with the three of swords. They're angry. They're feeling vulnerable, insecure, self-doubting. All right. Um, this person is just in disbelief here about you. I'm hearing your tenacity because they have abused their power. For some of you guys, this person has stolen all of your things and could have possibly tried to put you in bankruptcy or something like that. Stole all of your things here. What's the outcome for this? I see you guys with the six of wands and the death. It's like Jesus has re-risen. Jesus has risen. You changed. <laughs> and you guys have gotten wiser. Four of cups, the three of pentacles, the high priestess. Y'all like really doing y'all research here. Like, mm, this person's coming towards me to offer. Mm, let me use my intuition about this. Let me think, what's this, what's this person? I'm also getting, you guys have been rejected a lot, especially from groups because of the knowledge that you hold or some sort of secrets here. For some of you guys, this is like somebody coming towards you and wanting to put you in a polyamorous relationship or something like that, wanting you to be a mistress. You don't do it. This person feels like they got to make you pay. Nine of Wands. Yeah, look. Ace of Wands. This is like, all right, this is like group sex or some shit like that. All right, somebody wants you involved in this. You like, no. And they like, okay, well, we're going to scare you. We're going to stress you out. But they, they only stressing themselves out because it's like their self-hate. Somebody needs to do some sort of introspection here and drop these burdens because their self-limiting beliefs and the hate that they hold here, the Eight of Swords, Behind the scenes, this is coming out, but this has also scored you a new opportunity with the Wheel of Fortune. All right. Yeah, we have a child. For some of you guys, it's some sort of hidden knowledge, hidden information here about a third party. That could have slept with somebody here who has a child. Yeah, this was like, this a, this is a, a like a quiet relationship that was real quiet. And a baby came out of this. Somebody like, they don't want you to know this. All right, I'm also getting here something about an inheritance as a child. A house, you could have been in despair about housing, but this is about to be gifted back to you. There could be a couple living in your home with a child. A baby girl or something like that. Something to do with the age of 18 or 19 here, four. Yeah, there's an official person about to deliver this news about this false person. Whoever this person is, this false person, this false person is in bad health here. All right, so say if this was somebody who you were supposed to be dealing with, and you're not, that false person went towards your person and could have possibly put them in bad health. There's a message that's going to be coming out about this as well. All right. Let's go ahead and close this out here. Some of you guys, this has something to do with the physical death and inheritance. You guys are left in a will. We got judgment, empathy. Somebody who worked against you, somebody's going to be coming back, all right? Somebody wants you to have empathy towards some sort of ending that's coming in their life, but they're guilty of it. Caused you grief or tried to. They failed. It helped you change, all right? 